Maxime? Maxime? Is that you? Yeah, hi. Hi. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about Beirut? Beirut, sure. Awesome. Do you mind if we do it while I continue my training? Not at all. Do you mind following me? Oh, let's go. All right. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Beirut? Beirut, that's the city I was born in. The city I was raised in. The city where I went to school uh, in my younger years. And I can actually remember the, the sights, the sounds, and even the smells going to school back and forth every day. That was in the old days, but perhaps now Beirut is, for me, the Beirutis, the people who live in it. Amazing. I find it amazing how, despite all the troubles and the war, they've been able to resurrect the city and make it what it is now. Nice. And what keeps you in Beirut or Lebanon? Yeah, I actually moved out of Beirut. I live in the mountains. But what brings me back is actually what I call my Lebanon. This. The mountains, the forests, the snow in the winter. It's an amazing place. All this next to the Mediterranean. We're blessed with that. Nice. Now this brings me to my third question, but do you mind if I stop you for a minute? Of course not, let's go there. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna show you a photo taken by the artist Fadia Ahmad. Okay. So it is called Meraki. Meraki. And it will be one of the photos displayed in the exhibition Beirut, Beirut. What do you see and what emotions does it invoke in you? So this is the photo here. Hmm. Okay. I see, uh, I see clouds. I see an angry sea, waves, currents. Mm. But I see in the forefront here uh, a rope. It kind of means to me that the Beirutis or the Lebanese are intrinsically tied to their country. And no matter how cloudy or how stormy or how hostile it can be because of other people's wars, we invariably come back and resurrect the country from the rubble. Wow, I love how you interpret it. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This last question. Me, yes, to the last question. Okay. So how do you spread positivity in your process? Well, you don't need to spread positivity to the Lebanese. They're positive uh, by birth. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here. But in my own way, I try and show a different face of what Lebanon is seen as on the news. Um, I try and show what I call my Lebanon and lately I've been organizing international races uh, be it skiing in the winter or trail running in the summer or biking uh, to show this Lebanon what I call my Lebanon that's awesome thank you so much for your time Maxime thank you you enjoy your rest of your day thank you same to you bye bye bye